you are watching this video so i am sure you are excited to see what exactly are we going to build today we are going to build a beautiful landing page of pizza website keep in mind this website does not have to be just about pizza website you can convert it into any other high-end business in this video you will learn how to make different sections for your website like the header section home section about us section card section recently added section newsletter section footer section and so on we will show you how to design them in a way that looks great and makes sense this video will show you how to create a dark mode and a light mode for a website this means users can choose between a dark and light background it's helpful for those who prefer a darker screen at night the tutorial will teach you how to add this feature to your website so users can switch between the two modes easily this is looking great and it is completely mobile responsive website it's going to work for tablet devices as well as the mobile devices and it's going to look great on all of them which means that it can adjust its layout and content to fit the screen size of the user's device this feature is important as more and more people are accessing websites through their mobile devices a mobile responsive website ensures that users can access and navigate the site easily without having to zoom in or scroll excessively this website works well on all devices so users can enjoy the content no matter what device they are using so let's dive straight into the video First of all, we need code editor. I am going to use Visual Studio Code Editor or VS Code Editor. If you don't have it, download it and install it. Here is the VS Code. To get started with our pizza website, we are going to start as we always do by creating a new empty folder on our desktop called Pizza Hut. Once you created, you can drag and drop it to your empty Visual Studio Code window inside of here. Let's go ahead and create an HTML file index.html a CSS file styles.css and a JavaScript file main.js Additionally, I plan to include an image folder to store the images we will be using. As you can see, I have already added images to the image folder that we will be using. Let's go into the index.html file. We will just add a boilerplate. As you can see, I have already added a boilerplate. And you can see header section, a few different sections and footer section that we will be creating. And each has an ID and class name. Let's go ahead and first I want to create fab icon. So in here let's say link and the ref will be image slash fab icon dot png. Now save the changes. Make sure you install live server extension. I have already installed it. You can right click and choose open with live server. It's going to open up whatever your default browser. And you can see our fab icon and the title. Back to our code. Next, we want to add font awesome link. Open up a new tab and go to cdnjs.com and search for font awesome. You can copy the link of font awesome by clicking here and paste it here. Next, I want to add a link here. And this is going to go to our style.css. Now save it. Let's go into our styles.css file. Now I want to import Google Fonts. 
open up a new tab and go to fonts.google.com website and search for poppins here is the font i am talking i will scroll down and i want to choose regular medium semi bold and bold again i want to search for dancing script and i will choose regular medium semi bold and bold and finally i am going to search for titan and i will choose this one now click on this button and then i am going to import those fonts so let's copy this link and paste it here now i want to add some variable css so let's say colon root curly brackets now i want to add header height some colors font family font size and font weight that we will be using in this project below that i want to add media query so let's say media screen and min width colon 1024 pixel curly brackets inside it let's say a root curly brackets and i am going to add some font size so as soon as a user is on a device that has a width of at least 1024 pixels in the viewport in the device browser then we are going to show this font size that we place in here now i want to add some beige style first i want to reset our browser box sizing will be border box margin 0 padding 0 below that i want to target html curly brackets scroll behavior will be smooth below that i want to target body tag font family body font and this body font is coming from here below that font size will be font small background color will be body color color will be text color and finally transition will be background 0.4 second below that i want to target h1 h2 and h3 tags color will be title color font weight will be font medium below that i want to target ul tag list style type will be none below that i want to target a tag text decoration will be none below that i want to target image tag maximum width will be 100 percent and height will be auto i will scroll down and i want to add the reusable classes first i want to target container class so let's say dot container curly brackets max width will be 1024 pixel and margin inline will be 1.5 ram below that i want to target grid class display will be grid gap will be 1.5 ram below that i want to target section class padding block will be 5 ram on top and on ram on bottom below that i want to target section title so let's say dot section underscore underscore title curly brackets font family will be title font below that font size will be font excel font weight will be bold margin bottom will be 1.5 rem color will be hsl 36 comma 100 percent comma 96 percent Below that stroke width will be 2 pixel. WebKit text stroke width will be 2 pixel. Below that WebKit text stroke color will be hashtag 401C10. Stroke will be hashtag 401C10. And finally text shadow will be 6 pixel 6 pixel 0 pixel and then hashtag 
9f7060 below that i want to target section subtitle so let's say section underscore underscore subtitle curly brackets display will be block font family will be subtitle font font size will be font large font weight will be font semi bold color will be primary color and finally margin bottom will be 0.5 ram below that i want to target section title and section subtitle again so let's say section title comma dot section subtitle curly brackets text align will be center below that i want to target main class so let's say dot main curly brackets overflow will be hidden now save the changes back in the browser for now you can see the only background color here is our final design i set them side by side we'll work on mobile screen first and then desktop screen first let's focus on this navbar area essentially it contains our logo in the left corner and then some icons in the right corner and if i click on this hamburger icon you will see a close icon navigation list items and an image in the left corner so let's write the html for that back to our code let's go into our index.html file and inside this header tag we want a nav tag with the class of nav and container inside it i want an anchor tag so i want to add right angle bracket and then a tag with the class of nav underscore underscore logo inside it i want an image tag and hit enter ref will be hashtag and the image source will be image slash logo dot png and the vault will be logo image below that a tag i want a div with the class of nav underscore underscore menu and the id will be nav dash menu inside it i want an unordered list with the class of nav underscore underscore list inside it i want to add list items we want four list items so we will add the multiplier symbol and then four with the class name of nav underscore underscore item inside it i want to add an a tag with the class of nav underscore underscore link and then hit enter first one will be home second one will be about third one will be popular and finally recently now save it let's go ahead and below this ul tag i want a div with the class of nav underscore underscore close and the id will be nav dash close inside it i want to add font awesome icon open up a new tab and go to fontawesome.com website and click on this search button and let's search for x mark select the free button we want this icon let's copy this i tag and paste it here now save it you can see the close icon below that i want to add an image tag with the class of nav underscore underscore img dash one and the source will be image slash pizza slice dot png and the vault will be nav image below this div i want a new div with the class of nav underscore underscore buttons let's search for moon icon let's copy this i tag and paste it here give it a new class name change dash theme i want to add an id equal to theme dash button below this i tag i want a div with the class of nav underscore underscore toggle 
and with the id of nap dash toggle inside it i want to add hamburger icon so let's search for hamburger let's copy this i tag and paste it here now save it you can see our raw content now let's start worrying about the actual design let's go into our style.css first i want to target our logo image so let's say dot nav underscore underscore logo space img curly brackets width will be 25 pixel we want the image text so let's go into our index.html file i will scroll up and below this image tag let's say pizza heart now i want to target header class so above this logo image let's say dot header curly brackets position will be fixed top 0 left 0 width will be 100 percent background color will be body color z index will be 100 transition box shadow 0 0.3 second comma background 0 0.4 second below that i want to target nav class so let's say nav curly brackets position will be relative height will be header height display flex justify content space between align item center below that i want to target nav toggle so let's say nav underscore underscore toggle comma and then nav close display will be flex color will be title color for now let's comment out the pizza slice image now below that i want to target nav logo so let's say nav underscore underscore logo curly brackets color will be primary color font family will be title font font size will be font medium font weight will be semi bold display will be flex align items will be center column gap will be 0 0.5 ram transition color 0 0.3 second below that i want to target nav toggle class so let's say nav underscore underscore toggle curly brackets font size will be 1.25 ram cursor will be pointer below that i want to add media query so let's say media screen and max width will be 767 pixel curly brackets max width means less than or equal to the width specified in the media query in this case it's 767 pixel inside it i want to target nav menu so let's say nav underscore underscore menu curly brackets position will be fixed top 0 left 0 background color will be body color width will be 100 percent box shadow 0 space 8 pixel space 20 pixel space ages la 19 comma 64 percent comma 24 percent comma 0 0.1 padding block will be 3.5 ram transition will be top 0 0.4 second below that i want to target lab list so let's say dot nav underscore underscore list curly brackets 
display will be flex flex direction will be column text align will be center row gap will be 2 ram below that let's say dot nav underscore underscore link curly brackets color will be title color font weight will be font medium transition will be color space 0 0.4 second i want to add some hover effect so let's say dot nav underscore underscore link colon hover curly brackets color will be primary color now it's working perfectly now we can focus on this close icon so below that let's say nav underscore underscore close curly brackets position will be absolute top on ram right 1.5 ram font size will be 1.5 ram cursor will be pointer below this nav close class i want to target nav underscore underscore image dash one class position will be absolute opacity will be 0 0.5 width will be 100 pixel top minus 2 rem and left minus 2 rem now it's looking nice i will scroll up and here i will add top minus 100 percent and that disappears our navigation list items again i will scroll up and here i want to add nav buttons class so let's say dot nav underscore underscore buttons curly brackets display will be flex align items will be center and column gap will be one ram below that let's say change dash theme font size will be 1.25 ram color will be title color cursor will be pointer transition will be color 0 0.3 second transform rotate 245 degree now let me look at the reference design now if i click on this hamburger menu you can see the menu items and if i click on this close icon it disappears the menu items again if i click on this hamburger menu you can see the show menu appears to this div where the id is nav dash menu and when i click on this close menu you can see it disappears the show menu from this div to achieve that we have to add javascript back to our code let's go into our index.html file i will scroll down and in here i want to add a script tag and the source will be main.js now save it let's go into our main.js file first i want to target nav menu so let's say constant nav menu equal to document dot get elements by id nav dash menu which is coming from here and then i want to target nav toggle so in here let's say toggle here will be nav toggle and then nav close icon so in here let's say close and here will be close below that i want to target nav link so let's say cons nav link equal to document dot query selector wall dot nav underscore underscore link 
now i want to add if condition so let's say if nav toggle then i want to target nav toggle dot add event listener and the event will be click arrow function now i want to add show menu class so let's say nav menu dot class list dot add show dash menu so basically when toggle menu is click the callback function is executed which adds the css show menu to nav menu now save it now we have to add show menu class inside our styles.css so let's go into our style.css i will scroll down and in here let's say dot show dash menu curly brackets top will be zero now save it back in the browser now if i click on this hamburger menu you can see it adds show menu class now we have to remove this show menu class when we will click on this close icon back to our code let's go into our main.js file now if we click on this nav close icon then nav close dot add event listener and the event will be click arrow function inside it i want to say nav menu dot class list dot remove show dash menu now let's test this out nice it's working perfectly now we want to do the same things for list items which means whenever we will click on an item it will remove the show menu class back to our code so in here let's say nav link dot for each link then link dot add event listener event will be click arrow function let's copy this line and paste it here now save the changes back in the browser now it's working now we can focus on our desktop screen let's go into our style.css file i will scroll up now i want to add media query so in here let's say media screen and max width will be 340 pixel curly brackets in here let's say container curly brackets margin inline will be on ram again media screen and mean width 1064 pixel curly brackets container margin inline will be auto i will scroll down here i want to add media query and in this case mean width will be 768 pixel curly brackets dot nav curly brackets column gap will be 3 ram again media query curly brackets in this case mean width will be 1024 pixel in here let's say dot nav curly brackets height will be cal var header height plus 1.5 ram i will scroll down here i want to add media query let's copy these classes and paste it here we don't need this color and display will be none i will scroll down in here i want to add media query and then let's say dot nav underscore underscore menu curly brackets 
margin dash left will be auto i'll scroll down in here let's say media query nav underscore underscore list curly brackets flex direction will be row column gap will be 3 rem again i will scroll down here let's say nav underscore underscore image dash one curly brackets display will be none now save the changes back in the browser now it's looking good on our smaller screen also on our large screen but in here it's not looking good so let's check this out i will scroll up here let's correct this spelling calc now save the changes back in the browser now it's looking nice in this position our nav menu is complete now we can focus on our home section let me look at the reference design essentially there is a beautiful image at the top and some content below the image so let's write the html for that now below this header section and inside this home section we want a div with the classes of home underscore underscore container container and grid inside it i want an image tag with the class of home underscore underscore image and also we want a div inside this container with the class of home underscore underscore data and then hit enter image source will be image slash home pizza dot png alt will be home image inside this div let's have an h1 tag with the class of home underscore underscore title below that i want a paragraph tag with the class of home underscore underscore description and below this paragraph tag i want to add an anchor tag with the class of button hit enter now let's add the title paragraph and finally i want to add anchor tag that should be button and in here let's say hashtag now save it you can see our raw content let's start worrying about the actual design let's go into our styles.css file now i want to target home class so let's say dot home curly brackets position will be relative below that i want to target home container so let's say home underscore underscore container curly brackets row gap will be 3 ram justify self will be center below that i want to target home image so let's say dot home underscore underscore image curly brackets width will be 300 pixel justify self will be center below that let's say home underscore underscore data curly brackets text align will be center below that i want to target home title so let's say dot home underscore underscore title but we already have the css properties for section title i will scroll up so we want to apply those properties to the home title so what can we do we can add here home title so let's say comma dot home underscore underscore title now we want to increase our font size so we will scroll down in here let's say font size font to excel also i want to add margin bottom so let's say margin bottom will be on ram below that i want to target home description so let's say home underscore underscore description curly brackets padding will be zero on top and bottom on ram on left and right 
below that I want to add margin bottom and that will be 2.5 rem. Now we can focus on our button. So in here let's say button curly brackets. Display will be inline flex. Align items will be center. Column gap will be 0 0.5 rem. Background color will be primary color. Padding on rem on top and bottom. 1.5 rem on left and right. Border radius will be 4 rem. Color will be white. Font weight will be font medium. And finally transition will be background 0 0.3 second. Now I want to target I tag. So below that let's say button space I curly brackets. Font size will be 1.25 rem transition will be transform 0 0.3 second below that i want to add some hover effect so let's say button colon hover curly brackets background color will be primary color world let's add the hover effect for the icon so button colon hover space i tag transform Translate X will be 0 0.25 rem. Let's test this out. It's working nice. Now we can focus on our big screen. At this point, I want to fix the width of this content. So it looks like this. I will scroll up and in here i want to add media query so let's say media screen and mean dash width will be 576 pixel curly brackets in here let's say home underscore underscore container curly brackets grid dash template columns will be 0 0.7 fr and justify content will be center now save it now it's looking nice now we want to focus on our large screen so it looks like this i will scroll up and below this section class i want to add media query in this case max width will be 340 pixel inside it let's say dot section curly brackets Padding block will be 4 rem on top and 1 rem on bottom. Below that, again I want to add media query and in this case, mean width will be 1024 pixel. And inside it, let's say section curly brackets, padding block will be 7 rem on top, 1.5 rem on bottom. I will scroll down. Here I want to add media query. And in this case, max width will be 340 pixel. And inside it, let's say home underscore underscore title, comma, section title, curly brackets. Font size will be 2 rem. Again, I will scroll down. And I am going to cut this media query and paste it right here and below that i want to add media query again and in this case mean width will be 1024 pixel inside it let's say dot home underscore underscore container curly brackets position will be relative grid template columns will be 480 pixel space 500 pixel i will scroll down and below this home image class i want to add media query also in here let's say 1024 pixel inside it let's say home underscore underscore image curly brackets width will be 600 pixel position will be absolute 
top 2 ram and right minus 2 ram i will scroll down below this home data let's add media query in here let's say 1024 pixel inside it let's say underscore underscore data curly brackets text align will be initial order will be minus one now save the changes back in the browser now it's looking nice on our large screen and in this position our home section is complete now we can focus on our about us section let me look at the reference design essentially it contains subtitle title and paragraph at the top and below that we have an image so let's write the html for that inside this section tag we want a div with some classes of about underscore underscore container container and grid inside it we want a div with the class name of about underscore underscore data and also we need an image tag with the class name of about underscore underscore image hit enter inside this div let's have a span tag with the class name of section underscore underscore subtitle below that let's have an h2 tag with the class name of section underscore underscore title and below that let's have an paragraph tag with the class name of about underscore underscore description hit enter now i want to add subtitle title and paragraph in here the source will be image slash about dash pizza dot png and the world will be about image now save it you can see the about us section it's already looking good we just need to fix some issues let's go into the styles.css file in here i want to target about class so let's say dot about curly brackets position will be relative below that i want to target about container so let's say about underscore underscore container curly brackets row gap will be 3 ram below that i want to target about data so about underscore underscore data curly brackets text align will be center below that i want to target about image so let's say about underscore underscore img curly brackets width will be 250 pixel justify self will be center now save it now it's looking nice on our mobile device now let's focus on our tablet device in this position we have to fix the width you can see we already did that so we can apply those properties to the about us section okay let me show you what i mean i will scroll up in here i want to add about container so let's say comma dot about underscore underscore container now save it now it's looking nice now we can focus on our large screen on our large screen we want the image in the left side and the content in the right side like this back to our code i will scroll up below this section subtitle i want to add media query and inside it let's say section underscore underscore subtitle curly brackets margin bottom will be 0.75 ram again i want to add media query in here let's copy those classes and paste it here text align will be initial again i want to scroll down below that about container i want to add media query and inside it let's say dot about underscore underscore container curly brackets grid template columns will be 450 pixel 
space 360 pixel below that align items will be center column gap will be 7 ram below that about data i want to add media query again in here let's say about underscore underscore data curly brackets order will be one text align will be initial and finally i want to add media query for the about image in here let's say about underscore underscore image curly brackets width will be 400 pixel now save the changes back in the browser now it's looking very nice on our desktop device so in this position our about us section is complete now we can focus on our popular section let me look at the reference design essentially it contains a subtitle title and three cards so let's write the html for that inside this popular section we want a span tag with the class of section underscore underscore subtitle hit enter below that let's have an h2 tag with the class name of section underscore underscore title below that we want a div with some classes of popular underscore underscore container container and grid inside it we want a div with the class of popular underscore underscore card inside it we want an image tag with the class of popular image also we need a div with the class of popular underscore underscore content hit enter the source will be image slash popular pizza one world will be popular image inside this div let's have an anchor tag with the class of popular underscore underscore button below that let's have an h3 tag with the class name of popular underscore underscore name below that we want a paragraph tag with the class of popular underscore underscore description and finally we need a paragraph tag again with the class of popular underscore underscore price hit enter you can see this is our first card so i am going to copy entire div and paste it two more times in here let's say two and here three now save it you can see three images now we want to add our content let's copy this subtitle and paste it here i want to add title now save the changes you can see our subtitle and title are looking good so let's work on our card let's go into our styles.css in here i want to target popular container so let's say dot popular underscore underscore container curly brackets padding top will be 4 ram below that i want to target popular card so let's say popular underscore underscore card curly brackets position will be relative background color will be container color padding 2 rem on top 2 rem on left and right and 1 rem on bottom box shadow will be 0 space 8 pixel space 20 pixel and then color so let's say hsla 
0.08 below that let's say border radius 10 pixel cursor will be pointer transition background 0.4 second below that i want to target popular content so let's say popular underscore underscore content curly brackets text align will be right below that let's say popular underscore underscore image curly brackets width will be 150 pixel align self will be flex start position will be absolute top 0.5 ram left 0.5 ram and finally transition transform 0.4 second now i want to target popular name so let's say popular underscore underscore name curly brackets font size will be font large font weight will be font semi bold margin dash block will be 3 rem on top 0.25 rem on bottom now save it now i want to target on description so let's say dot popular underscore underscore description curly brackets font size will be font extra small margin block will be 0 on top and 0 0.25 rem on bottom now i want to target price so let's say popular underscore underscore price curly brackets font size will be font medium font weight will be font medium color will be color primary now i want to target button so let's say dot popular underscore underscore button curly brackets background color will be primary color padding 5 pixel on top and bottom and 10 pixel on left and right border radius will be 50 percent color will be white font size will be 1.25 ram box shadow will be 0 4 pixel 20 pixel and then color so let's say hsla 19 comma 64 percent comma 20 percent and then 0 0.2 transition will be background 0 0.3 second now save it now i want to add some hover effect so let's say popular card colon hover space dot popular button curly brackets background color will be primary color world below that let's say popular card colon hover space popular image curly brackets transform translate y will be minus 0 0.75 ram now save it now our popular section is looking good on our mobile device now we can focus on our tablet device let me look at the reference design you can see on our tablet device we have two columns and on our desktop device we have three columns so let's write the media query for that back to our code i will scroll up and in here i want to add media query so let's say media screen and mean width will be 1024 pixel curly brackets in here let's say popular space section underscore underscore title comma popular space section underscore underscore subtitle curly brackets text align will be center below this popular container in here i want to add media query 
and this time mean width will be 768 pixel and inside it let's say popular container curly brackets grid template columns will be repeat 2 comma on fr below that raw gap will be 1.5 ram and column gap will be 2 ram below that again i want to add media query in this case mean width will be 1024 pixels let's copy this popular container class and paste it here this time grid template columns repeat will be 3 comma on fr we don't need this row gap and column gap will be on ram now save the changes back in the browser now you can see on our tablet device it's looking great on our desktop device it's also looking great in this position our popular section is complete now we can focus on our recently section let me look at the reference design you can see in our recently section we have some content at the top and below that we have an image so let's write the html for that we want a div with some classes recently underscore underscore container container and grid inside it we want on more div with the class of recently underscore underscore data plus we want an image tag with the class name of recently underscore underscore image hit enter inside the div let's have an span tag with the class name of section underscore underscore subtitle plus let's have an h2 tag with the class name of section underscore underscore title plus we want a paragraph tag with the class name of recently underscore underscore description plus we want a button so let's say a tag with the class name of button hit enter now i want to add their content the source will be image slash recently pizza dot jpg and the world will be recently image now save the changes you can see it's already looking good on our mobile device let's fix some issues let's go into our styles.css file in here i want to target recently container so let's say dot recently underscore underscore container curly brackets raw gap will be 4 ram below that let's say recently underscore underscore data text align will be center below that let's say recently underscore underscore description margin bottom will be 2 ram now it's looking good on our mobile device now let's focus on our tablet device on our tablet device we want to fix the width i will scroll up in here let's say comma dot recently container and save it now it's looking good now let's focus on our desktop device let me look at the reference design you can see our content in the left side and our image in the right side so let's do that back to our code i will scroll down below that recently container class i want to add media query so let's say media screen and mean width will be 1024 pixel curly brackets dot recently container curly brackets grid template columns will be 350 pixel space 480 pixel below that align items will be center column gap will be 7 ram 
padding bottom will be 2 RAM. Again, I want to add media query in here. Inside it, let's say recently data curly brackets text align will be initial. Now save the changes. Back in the browser, now you can see our recently section is looking good on our desktop device. So in this position, our recently section is complete. Now we can focus on our newsletter section. Let me look at the reference design. As you can see, the container has a background color a pizza slice image located in the top left corner as well as a subtitle title and a subscription form so let's write the html for that inside this newsletter section we want a div with some classes of newsletter underscore underscore container container and grid inside it we want an image tag with the class of newsletter underscore underscore img and also we want a div with the class name of newsletter underscore underscore data hit enter the source will be image slash pizza slice the world will be newsletter image inside this div we want a span tag with the class of section underscore underscore subtitle. Below that, let's have an h2 tag with the class name of section underscore underscore title. Below that, we have a form tag with the class of newsletter underscore underscore form. Inside it, we want an input tag with the class name of newsletter underscore underscore input plus we want a button tag with the class name of button and newsletter underscore underscore button hit enter in here type will be email give it a placeholder equal to enter email now i want to add content Now save the changes. Now you can see the image and content. Now let's add some more CSS. Let's go into our style.css file. First, I want to target newsletter container. So let's say newsletter underscore underscore container curly brackets. Position will be relative. Background color will be HSL 19 comma 24 percent comma 15 percent let's say border radius 2.5 ram padding 5 ram on top on ram on left and right and 3 ram on bottom text align will be center overflow will be hidden margin bottom will be 2 ram now save it Below that, I want to target pizza slice image. Let's say dot newsletter underscore underscore img curly brackets width will be 150 pixel. Position will be absolute. Top will be minus 2 rem and left will be minus 4 rem. Now save it. Below that, I want to target the title. So let's say newsletter underscore underscore data space section underscore underscore title curly brackets margin bottom will be 2 rem. Below that, I want to target form. So let's say newsletter underscore underscore form curly brackets background color will be white padding 5 pixel space 5 pixel space 5 pixel space 16 pixel border radius will be 4 rem 
display will be flex and column gap will be 0 0.5 RAM. Now save it. Now I want to target input and the button. So let's say newsletter underscore underscore input comma newsletter underscore underscore button curly brackets font family will be body font border none and outline none now save it again i want to target input tag so let's say newsletter underscore underscore input curly brackets width will be 90 percent color will be text color now save it below that let's say newsletter underscore underscore button curly brackets cursor will be pointer now save it as you can see the newsletter section is looking good on our mobile device now we want to focus very smaller device as you can see the width is 320 pixel we want the input field and button to be arranged on after the other not side by side to achieve that we have to add some media query so back to our code i will scroll up and here i want to add media query so let's say media screen and max width will be 340 pixel curly brackets newsletter form curly brackets flex direction will be column background none and raw gap will be on ram now save it again i will scroll down in here i want to add media query again so let's say media screen and max width will be 340 pixel curly brackets newsletter input curly brackets width will be initial padding will be on ram border radius will be 4 ram now save it below that newsletter button i want to add media query again in here let's say newsletter button curly brackets justify content will be center now save it now it's looking good on our very smaller device now we can focus on our tablet i will scroll up below that newsletter image i want to add media query so let's say media screen and mean width will be 768 pixel curly brackets newsletter image curly brackets width will be 250 pixel position absolute top will be minus 4 rem and left will be minus 6 rem now our image is looking good now we can focus on our large screen i will scroll up below this newsletter container i want to add media query and in this case mean width will be 1024 pixel inside it let's say newsletter container curly brackets grid template columns will be 350 pixel space 360 pixel align items will be center column gap will be 6 ram padding bottom will be 2.5 ram and 0 border radius will be 4.5 ram i will scroll down in here let's say media query inside it let's say newsletter image curly brackets position will be initial width will be 350 pixel again in here i want to add media query again inside it i want to copy this one 
and paste it here and in this case margin bottom will be 2.5 gram again i will scroll down in here i want to add media query let's say newsletter form curly brackets padding will be 8 pixel 8 pixel 8 pixel and then 24 pixel again i will scroll down in here i want to add media query and inside it let's say newsletter button curly brackets font size will be font small now save the changes one more thing we need to add that i will scroll up in here we want to add dot newsletter container and then save it now you can see our newsletter section is looking good on our large device also on our tablet screen and mobile screen in this position our newsletter section is complete now we can focus on our footer so let's write the html for that inside this footer section we want a div with some classes of footer underscore underscore container container and grid hit enter inside it we want on more div inside it let's have an anchor tag with the class name of footer underscore underscore logo inside it i want an image tag the source will be image slash logo and the world will be logo image below that i want to add pizza hut below that a tag let's have an paragraph tag with the class of footer underscore underscore description below that div i want to create on more div with the class name of footer underscore underscore content inside it let's have on more div and inside it let's have an h3 tag with the class name of footer underscore underscore title plus i want to add an unordered list so let's say ul with the class name of footer underscore underscore links inside it i want to add some list item so let's say li and then inside it i want an anchor tag with the class name of footer underscore underscore link now i want to multiply by 4 let's copy this div and paste it below two more times in here we want two items so i remove other two items we don't need this anchor tag so let's remove it give it a class equal to footer underscore underscore information below this div let's have a new div inside it let's have an h3 tag with the class name of footer underscore underscore title below that we want an ul tag with the class name of footer underscore underscore links and footer underscore underscore social inside it we want an anchor tag with the class name of footer underscore underscore social dash link multiply by 3 hit enter just above the footer tag in here i want a div with the class name of footer underscore underscore copy and container now i want to add their content
give it here a target equal to blank now save it you can see our raw content let's add some style let's go into our style.css i will scroll up and in here let's say comma dot footer underscore underscore logo and here let's say comma dot footer underscore underscore logo space img you can see our logo is looking good i will scroll down in here i want to target footer class so let's say dot footer curly brackets padding dash block will be 3 rem on top and 2 rem on bottom save it now i want to target footer container so let's say footer underscore underscore container curly brackets row gap will be 3 rem save it below that let's say footer underscore underscore logo curly brackets margin bottom will be on ram below that let's say footer underscore underscore description comma footer underscore underscore link comma dot footer underscore underscore information curly brackets font size will be font extra small below that i want to target footer content and footer links so let's say footer underscore underscore content comma dot footer underscore underscore links curly brackets display will be grid below that let's say footer underscore underscore content grid template columns repeat will be two comma max dash content gap will be 2.5 ram and margin bottom will be 2.5 ram now save it below that let's target footer title font size will be font medium margin bottom will be 1.5 ram below that let's say footer underscore underscore links curly brackets row gap will be 0.5 ram below that let's say dot footer underscore underscore link color will be text color transition will be color 0.3 second now save it now i want to add some hover effect so let's say footer underscore underscore link colon hover curly brackets color will be primary color below that i want to target footer social class so let's say dot footer underscore underscore social curly brackets display will be flex column gap will be 1.25 ram now save it below that let's say footer underscore underscore social dash link curly brackets color will be primary color font size will be 1.25 ram transition color space 0.3 second transform space 0.3 second below that i want to add some hover effect so let's copy this class name and paste it here and then colon hover curly brackets color will be primary world transform translate y will be minus 2 pixel below that let's say footer underscore underscore copy curly brackets text transform capitalize text align center font size font extra small color text color light 
now save it you can see it's looking very nice on our mobile device now we can focus on our very small device i will scroll up in here i want to add media query so let's say media screen and max width will be 340 pixel footer content curly brackets gap will be 1.4 ram now we can focus on our tablet device and the large screen back to our code i will scroll up below this footer class i want to add media query and in this case mean width will be 1024 pixels inside it i want to target footer curly brackets padding block will be 8 ram on top and 3 ram on bottom below this footer container i want to add media query inside it let's say footer container curly brackets position will be relative grid template columns repeat will be two comma max dash content justify content will be space between i will scroll down below that media query i want to add on more media query and in this case mean width will be 576 pixel inside it let's add footer underscore underscore content curly brackets grid template column repeat will be three comma max content again i want to add media query and in this case mean width will be 768 pixel let's say footer underscore underscore content curly brackets let's copy this property and paste it here and repeat will be four comma max content below that i want to add media query again and in this case mean width will be 1024 pixels footer underscore underscore content curly brackets column gap will be 4 ram i will scroll down below this link hover effect i want to add media query and inside it let's say footer underscore underscore title comma footer underscore underscore description comma footer underscore underscore link comma footer underscore underscore information curly brackets font size will be font is small again i will scroll down below this hover effect i want to add media query again in here let's say footer underscore underscore social link curly brackets font size will be 1.5 ram now save the changes back in the browser now footer section is looking good on our large device also on our tablet device and mobile device so in this position our footer section is complete let me look at the reference design now we can focus on our scroll up button back to our code in here let's have an anchor tag with the class name of scroll up and with the id of scroll dash up ref will be hashtag inside it i want to add arrow up icon so let's say i dot fa dash solid dot fa dash arrow dash up now save it now you can see our icon let's add some css let's go into our styles.css file now i want to target scroll up class curly brackets position will be fixed right on ram bottom 3 ram 
background color container color box shadow will be 0 space 4 pixel space 12 pixel hsla 19 64 percent 24 percent and 0 0.1 below that let's say display inline flex padding 0 0.35 ram on top and bottom 0 0.5 ram on left and right border radius will be 0 0.25 ram font size will be on ram color will be primary color z index will be 1000 transition bottom 0 0.3 second comma transform 0 0.3 second and background 0 0.4 second now save it now it's looking nice now let's add hover effect scroll up colon hover curly brackets transform translate y will be minus 0 0.25 ram below that i want to add media query so let's say media screen and mean width will be 1024 pixel curly brackets inside it let's say scroll up curly brackets right will be 3 ram now save it let me look at the reference design if i click on this scroll up button that brings to the top again if i scroll down as you can see the show scroll class appears to this anchor tag where the id is scroll up and if i scroll up that disappears the show scroll class from this anchor tag to achieve that we need to add javascript back to our code my initial plan is to include the bottom 50 percent so in here let's say bottom minus 50 percent save it which will remove the scroll button and i will scroll down in here i want to add show scroll class so let's say show dash curly brackets bottom will be 3 ram let's go into our main.js file in here let's say window dot add event listener and then the event will be scroll comma i want to add an arrow function called scroll up let's create that arrow function constant scroll up equal to arrow function i want to target scroll up it so let's say constant scroll up equal to document dot get element by id and in here let's say scroll up below that let's say this dot scroll y greater than equal to 350 then i want to add show scroll class so let's say scroll up dot class list dot add and then show dash scroll class otherwise i want to remove show scroll class so in here let's say scroll up dot class list dot remove show dash scroll now save it as you can see our scroll up button now if i click here that brings to the top again if i scroll down you can see our scroll up button and also show scroll class and if i scroll up there is no show scroll button and also that remove the show scroll class i will do same thing for the header section okay let me show you what i mean back to our code let's copy the entire javascript function and paste it right here in this case let's change scroll up to scroll header 
in here that will be a scroll header and i want to target header tag so let's say header in here let's say header in this case this dot scroll y greater than and equal to will be 50 in here let's change it to header that means this one and i want to add and remove bg header class we did not create that class yet so let's copy that class and save it let's go into our style.css file i will scroll up right here i want to add that class curly brackets box shadow will be zero space two pixel space 8 pixel space hsla 19 comma 64 percent 24 percent and then 0 0.1 now save it as you can see there is a box shadow here if i scroll up there is no box shadow again if i scroll down there is a box shadow let me look at the reference design As you can see on this website there is a moon icon over here. If I click on this icon it will turn the website into the dark mode and the moon icon change to the sun icon. Again if I click on this sun icon it will turn the website back to light mode and the icon changes to the moon icon. So let's focus on that. I will scroll up. first i want to add dark mode colors that we will be using in dark mode so in here let's say body dot dark dash theme curly brackets as you can see i already added some colors that we will be using now save it let's go into our main.js file i will scroll down in here let's say constant theme button equal to document dot get element by id theme dash button and this id is coming from here below that let's say theme button dot add event listener and the event will be click arrow function first i want to add dark theme class to the body tag so in here let's say document dot body dot class list dot add dark dash theme then i want to change the moon icon to sun icon so let's say theme button dot class list dot replace fa dash moon comma fa dash sun and finally i want to store dark theme to the local storage so let's say local storage dot set item mode comma dark now save it back in the browser let's test this out it's working perfectly i will scroll down now i want to fix box shadow for the header popular card and also scroll up button back to our code let's go into our style.css file below that dark theme class let's say dark dash theme space bg dash header comma dot dark theme space nav underscore underscore menu comma dot dark theme space scroll up curly brackets then in here let's say box shadow will be 0 2 pixel 8 pixel and then hsla 19 comma 64 percent comma 4 percent comma 0 0.5 opacity below that let's say dot dark theme 
space dot popular underscore underscore card curly brackets let's copy this box shadow property and paste it here and in this case box shadow will be 0 space 8 pixel space 20 pixel and the opacity will be 0 0.2 now save it now our box shadow is looking nice again i will scroll down now i want to change the background color of newsletter container back to our code below that let's say dark theme space dot newsletter container curly brackets background color will be container color now save it back in the browser now our background color is looking good as you can see there is a box shadow in here so we need to remove that i will scroll down inside this media query let's say dark dash theme space dot nav underscore underscore menu curly brackets box shadow will be none now save it back in the browser now you can see there is no box shadow now the next thing is if i click on this sun icon it will turn the website back to the light mode and the icon changes to the moon icon so let's focus on that back to our code let's go into our main.js file let's create a new function called dark mode let's cut those line and paste it right here and in here let's say if local storage dot get item mode equal to dark then i want to run dark mode function otherwise i want to run light mode function so we need to create light mode function so below that dark mode function let's say function light mode let's copy those line and paste it here in this case i want to remove dark theme and i want to replace fa sun to fa moon and finally i want to store here light that should be light so let's correct it again i want to add more javascript so let's say if local storage dot get item and then mode equal to dark then i want to run dark mode function otherwise i want to run light mode function now save it back in the browser let's test this out nice it's working perfectly if i reload it as you can see it's still on dark mode let me look at the reference design now we can focus on our active link back to our code i will scroll up let's copy this line and paste it right here let's change this to active link i am going to create active link function so let's say constant eclipse link arrow function first i want to target section tag so let's say section equal to document dot query selector wall section below that i want to target nav link so let's say nav link equal to document dot query selector wall and then nav link class so let's say dot nav underscore underscore link below that let current equal to home below that let's say section dot for each 
section arrow function constant section top equal to section dot offset top below that if this dot scroll y greater than equal to section top minus 60 then current will be section dot get attribute id below that i want to target nav link so let's say nav link dot for each item arrow function first i want to remove active link from all items so let's say item dot class list dot remove active dash link below that let's say if item dot ref dot includes and then current i want to add active link so let's say item dot class list dot add active dash link now save it let's go into our style dot css i will scroll down and in here i will target active link so let's say active dash link curly brackets color will be primary color now save it let's go into our index.html file and in here let's say active dash link now save it back in the browser now our active link is working let me look at the reference design now we can focus on our animation to achieve that we will use scroll reveal library so open up a new tab and search for scroll reveal here is the library i am talking click on this guide button and then installation let's copy this script tag back to our code let's go into our index.html file i will scroll down and at the very bottom paste that script tag now save it let's go into our main.js file again i will scroll down and here i will add some default properties so let's say constant sr equal to scroll reveal origin will be top distance will be 60 pixel duration will be 2.5 second that means 2500 delay will be 400 below that let's animate our home section so let's say sr dot reveal dot home underscore underscore image again below that sr dot reveal dot home underscore underscore data and the origin will be bottom now save it back in the browser now reload it and you can see the beautiful animation let's do that for the other section like about us popular pizza recently added newsletter and for the footer back to our code let's copy this line and paste it two more times this one will be about data and origin will be left and this one will be about image and origin will be right below that i want to target popular card so let's say sr dot reveal dot popular underscore underscore card interval will be 100 let's copy those two lines and paste it below i want to target recently data and recently image so let's say 
recently data and image below that i want to target newsletter so let's say sr dot reveal dot newsletter and the origin will be top so we already have the origin top so we don't need to mention it below that let's say sr reveal and this one will be footer now save it back in the browser as you can see animation is working properly and in this position our pizza hut website is complete now we are going to learn how to deploy a website to netlify open up a new tab and go to app.netlify.com website netlify is a cloud-based platform that allows you to deploy and manage static websites quickly and easily so you can create netlify account by writing sign up or you can log in once you have signed up or login you will be taken to the netlify dashboard click the sites button and then you can just drag and drop our folder as you can see it's uploading after uploading you will get a link like this one so click on that and check your app right to the internet also we can create custom url link click on domain settings button and then edit site name in here let's say light dash code dash pizza hut now save it and then you will get a new link let's click on it and then as you can see our custom link so our pizza hut website is complete hope you like this video if you did please make sure to subscribe our channel and hit the thumbs up button